and welcome back my fellow scout troopers to a Napoleon Total War 3 replay we are at Spain 8-A map today test replay was sent to me by Johnny LaBuffin so thank you Johnny for the replay his allies today are Tig the MC the King of Gondor and I'm Swifton their opponents today are Nash 22 Robert E. Lee Flux and DTC or DT Chaslock 9 that's probably how you say it now if you want to see your own replay featured here on this channel you can send it to my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com you can also post it to me directly on Discord via private message. You can also post it to my Discord server Scouts Reconnaissance. Or you can simply tag me in the Napoleon Total War 3 pay. Or you can simply tag me in the replay you post on the NTW3 Discord as well. Now if you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, which is monumentally appreciated, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe of course if you haven't already. Click the bell for notifications so you never miss a fight. And leave your own thoughts about this battle in the comment section below. And with that, let's go through the factions today. We have France here, 1809 to 1812. I think we've got two armies here to the northwest. We've got here France, 1807, 1814, Espana. We have Denmark. And down here we have Ryband as the last blue team faction. We have Russia here, 1812. We've got the Holy Roman Empire, or the Hellenist Roman Reich. We have over here, United Kingdom, 1801, Egypt. United Kingdom Peninsula, right there. Okay. So, we've got England actually has some sort of... Well, their army's actually really close to Ryburn here. We might actually have an early engagement on our hands. That'd be interesting. He's got his infantry, he's got skirmishes here. They control the road already. Now, the way Ryburn probably should approach this is he has a lot more space to maneuver over here. But he seems to be heading down towards the road. Given that the enemy seems to be already there, I suppose he's contemplating trying to seize the high ground to his right. That could be a better idea than what I was thinking, which was advancing his army obviously in this direction where it's more open, more flat. And if he gets here, he could control the high ground, but the enemy's already there, so I guess that shoots down that option. There's some Tessers here acting as a scout. Yeah, it looks like he's going for it. I suppose over here might be a better way to go. It would shield his army from enemy artillery and artillery, sorry, to a degree. But once he moves down off the hill though, he will be exposed to enemy artillery. Just as he would over here as well. The and the downside of moving on the right is obviously he's moving further away from his allies as well. I don't know what Denmark's doing. He seems to be heading straight up the road there. Which doesn't bring him any closer to Ryben. So Ryben sees the four pointer. We have two four pointers on the field today and five one pointers, so 13 points. France is moving up. We could be trying to seize the four pointer here away from the Russians. Now, if the Russian army is not here, then France could potentially take it. And he's got a lot of natural barriers here to help him defend it. I mean, the enemy can only come at him from really two directions, which is this way, the small bridge, and the larger bridge over here. The other land bridge is way, way off. So they're about five or so points across. Yeah, they can get through here. We're back because we've got a charge here. England charged into an unsuspecting French unit. Our men are running, sir. Oh, he, he took out the artillery. He took out one of the crews. Maybe this crew will come back. Half the unit's still alive. This unit probably needs to fire on that cavalry, try and kill some. Yeah, 50-50 it comes back. Yep, the artillery came back. Lucky him. Okay, the Russian army here appears to have the four pointer secured, at least for now. Denmark somehow got to get their troops inside this area. The barrier here makes it very difficult. Over here is 
the best chance to assault and take over that four pointer. They've got to get their troops inside the area first. Over here, and make things a bit easier. They've got a lot of cab stations outside of it, but they can't really use it in this vicinity. Over here, it looks like we've got a broken English unit here. Cavalry force. Large Dragoons. They tried to go after Ryben's artillery, which he looks like he has an abundance of. Eight, a set of 8 pounders and 12 pounders. Some serious firepower. But, um, appears to be poorly positioned. Not to be too critical of him. But there, what we just saw there is inevitable. He's got to move that artillery up, and he's doing that right now. But I suppose you saw the uh, the cavalry coming. He figured he did. He wanted to deploy it, get it firing, try and repel any potential charges. And then once it, maybe it was clear to move up again, he would. Looks like he won't have to move too far. He might just have to deploy it here, because England's coming to him. Once he throws England off the hill here and pushes them back. I think maybe around here would be a great place to deploy the artillery. You can fire pretty much over the whole area here, right to the river. If they can get here and deploy, they'll make Ryburn's life a bit easier. And he'll definitely get more kills there with his arty than he would otherwise. Denmark appears to be engaged, or is being shot at. What's this unit here? Oh, I can't say that word. But damn, that's a long name. Herdega Disc Turni. Russian cab here will mop the floor with them. What are they thinking? Easy kill. Russia should just charge in, wipe them out. Denmark trying to bait him or something? He's going in. Yeah, see? Anchored. Hey, he survived. One survived. The rest broke. France is probably just waiting for Denmark to get into position. He's getting closer. He's really stretched out his army, though. Nice long columns here. If they had some artillery, this would be a good spot to shoot it. Straight down the Russian line. I'm sure should keep an eye out for that. I've got a six pound here firing at them, but um, it's pretty far away. A good hit will do some decent damage. Uh, looks like it just actually scared them. It just hit just before them. They're lucky. I thought I heard some screams there. I guess not. All right, peoples, we are back. We got a river fight between the French and the English. Some house is coming in. Well, he took 13 casualties. And just like Russia, France here needs to watch that bank. They're probably going to have some artillery standing by. Looks like they lost two artillery crews there. Just in case England tries to line him up and shoot him. France is getting ready to move in. I wonder if he charged in that second unit, that artillery crew that reformed. I wonder if they came back here and then they were killed. It's possible. Okay, Denmark's arriving. England's inside here now too. We've got Russian cab there. A strange formation here for the French guard to really take. Well, these guys here can't form a square. 
So we've got some Tichos coming in. They're going to do a test assault. Yep. Here they come. Both sides have support. I think France set up their cab attack. The goons pulling out. Wow, they're broken. Okay, we've got Roman cab here as well. France getting ready to repel the counter attack. It's going to be a bit tough. It's going to get pretty intense here in a second. Six down there. England's got their reserve standing by. I sort of sucker punched them a little bit. Morale's looking a bit shaky there. France obviously thinks they can win the prolonged combat, so they're happy to shoot it out for a while. France is going to be guarding Denmark's artillery piece. Denmark's a little bit slow to move up. Russia has a few units here. Ryburn seems to be content. They're going to hold their position for now. They don't know where their opponent is. You know, King of the Peninsula is somewhere out there, but we can't see where they are just yet. Looks like the Russian caveat. They're going to go for the Denmark artillery again. Got a French unit here moving up to protect them. No, no, they better, better hurry up and get in position. Where are they going? They, they're abandoning the Denmark artillery crew? Why are they doing that? Okay, the Denmark crew pulled back. They should just have that one, that unit there of Caribbeans just stationed alongside the wall here. Yeah, he's just into the strife. Looks like England's arrived, they're back on the bank. That howitzer crew isn't having a lot of success here against the French. France is trying to pull back a little bit. Denmark, once again, is not moving forward. They're holding their position. We've got the Hologram Empire out here now as well. A few units, actually. Denmark needs to either begin his attack or just pull back for now. What is the French army doing here? This whole army protecting one little bridge is not really, not really worth it, and um, is overkill to the max. Those resources are better off reinforcing their allies. Ok, 
Yes, me too, the goons. Maximum pressure campaign worked. And they got hit from all three sides. They just need two units here guarding the bridge. Two is probably even too much. One would be enough. Have a second one standing by just in case, but... This whole army here needs to reinforce their allies. Denmark needs help. He's being outnumbered there by England and the Holy Roman Empire. And the Russians. France is falling back to God knows where. Alright guys, we're back because this is a bit insane. I mean, what is the French 18 Spaniard player thinking right now? His army is needed to reinforce Denmark. Denmark is being overwhelmed here. He's being outflanked. His enemy is swinging wide deliberately. He's going to try and push him towards his allies here, which will actually benefit the blue team, I think, in the long run. But that positioning of the 8th of the French Spaniard's army there... I really would be curious to know what that player was thinking at the time, keeping all his army really at that position, where his troops are definitely needed elsewhere. I mean, leave, as I said, like one to three units tops, guarding that small little bridge there is probably enough. The rest of these forces are needed to reinforce his ally here, the French 18 and 9 player, and Denmark in particular, because Denmark is facing down a horde that vastly outnumbers his own. He needs help. He's got some cav here from the French 1809 player. But it looks like maybe the French Espana player had designs, had some sort of grand plan. But whether or not it was ever going to succeed, I don't think it was. I think his eyes would have been destroyed without his help. It's good to see that he's broken off a large portion of his army here, at least half. That's something. But... Um, most of these troops here are not needed there. They're needed elsewhere. Hopefully he gets hopefully he gets them out of there soon. We have a cab engagement here. I don't know if that was friendly artillery or I think it was enemy artillery there. The Russians almost made it here to the artillery crew of Denmark. 12 Panda, not something you want to lose. There's some Demo skirmishes out front, that's who they're firing at. Denmark just has to keep falling back until he's reinforced on his right. Thankfully, he can use the barrier somewhat. So he can't get outflanked from both sides. So they tried to go after the artillery crew again. Yeah, the crew's down to three. They're done. Gotta kill a few more. Denmark's trying to pursue and destroy. Alright, they pull back. Well, these English units here can form a square, if not all of them, it would seem. With the exception of maybe one. The cab is uh, not going to be that effective over here. Not for, not for now, at least. Uh, Denmark's engaging, but it's probably too soon. He can't cover either flank. He's going to get wrapped around on either side. Cavalry won't be that effective on the enemy's left. Might be effective on the Russian side though. A large cab assault could be beneficial on this area here only though. I'm 
Where's the rest of those French forces? What are they up to? Okay, he's continuing to fall back. Okay, here comes the red team. France, reinf France reinforcements are not too far off. I've seen a few men fall there. They're getting in righty close. There's the enemy cab. They might need to repel Russian forces. They kill a couple. Oh, they continue to, to advance. France is ahead of the support them, the, the crossers. Doesn't look like the enemy's gonna get by them that easily. Oh, we've got cavalry coming in. These guys from square. No, that's probably why they're coming in. France cap having some trouble there getting through the Dutch ranks. Dutch Dutch infantry just needs to just needs to run with the French cavalry. Probably do a mass bayonet push. I mean, Dutch infantry can't do anything with the cavalry in the way. They might as well join forces and attack with them. We'll give this assault the best chance of success. It doesn't look. It looks like the Dutch infantry is actually retreating. Let me know what you guys would have done in this situation. Would you have committed your infantry forces to support your allies' cav push? Because it seems like the cavalry push is having a lot of success. The Dutch player withdrew. I think that was a mistake. He should have sent those three units in with a bayonet charge. I think they would have together overwhelmed this area right now and would have really turned this flank on a dime. They might have forced the entire red line here to retreat and put them on the back foot. Our men are running, sir. So the Dutch here, they've sustained heavy casualties. France also has sustained a few casualties. Roman Empire got co too cocky. That was nice about face and return of fire. They're still shooting on him. The French cap is still battling away here. They're down to 46. England's over here now as well. France hasn't really engaged since the first engagement there all the way down here. They're just sort of hovering around this area. Most of the French army still hasn't moved from the bridge. 
They've already got an advanced guard, so they got some, they've already got an early warning system. If the enemy does decide to come at them this way. He needs to pull those troops back a bit. He needs to reinforce this area. And they've got the Russian hand here. Come to reinforce the enemy's right flank. Denmark has to pull back here. He can't engage the Russians and the Holy Roman Empire at the same time. The Russians can come in from that angle, basically in their blind spot. The Russians are going to shoot him, he probably should get in closer. The barricade acts as a nice natural defense. Drone Empire really sticking his neck out here. Acting as a huge magnet for all those Dutch bullets. So a lot of men drop there. It's taking a few hits. The enemy has two cab units in their rear ranks. Espana has withdrawn his cav. He's going to try and chase out the Romans and the Holy Roman Empire. Looks like the French Italian Empire might be moving his army up in more of a reserve role. I think he needs to send up about three or four units here just to enable Espana to move further to the right to stop England from trying to outflank him. The French units here, oh they pulled back. Okay, nothing's happening here at the moment. Looks like Denmark might get a small reprieve here, just for a little bit. France here might potentially be outflanked. France cab. I'm going to try and charge into the Russians. Okay. That's not going to work out too well for him, but... Um, I guess he's trying to use his cavalry as a shield for his ally. Uh, very generous of him. Alright, let's say our right bone's gone. He's actually pushed a considerable distance. Then we last saw. So the English cavalry here has been owned. They're done. So the English is just sort of lining up his forces outside the town here. We're going to have ourselves a bit of a 1v1. Running, There's still plenty of space here for Ryburn to exploit his cavalry advantage. It all depends how far the United Kingdom has stretched his line here across. The engagement though looks like it's a bit way off. A 
Bit of a gamble here for France and Denmark to hold this position. You got the Russians moving in. More enemy troops incoming there to the right. You can see men getting shot. Hundreds of men are falling by the second. French troops here still hanging on. But the Russians are firing on them. Carabiners. They always seem to do pretty well. Roman Empire's ranks starting to thin out a little bit here. I'm sure that Mark wants to push his advantage, but he's got England on his right, Russia on his left. It could potentially be catastrophic for him if he moves up and gives away his position. Well, that's probably how you do it. No cav to get through that. We got a lot of enemy cav over here. He's blocked it off entirely, just in case they try to get through. General's there nearby. 1809 player has moved up. He's right behind the line. He might take Denmark's place here, give him a chance to rest up a little bit. He's been fighting for a long time. Longer than any of his allies. Hell's just from just Reich, still moving up. Forces are getting in the way. French troops can't fire. But these guys here, they're fresh. You can see him troops really starting to fall fast. This was a good idea. And he's got plenty of reserves. They can engage the enemy if they try to outflank him or attack him in the rear. We got more reinforcements coming in from the 1807 player. Good to see. They're going to try and stretch themselves out and um, try to overlap the English forces over here. And begin pushing the enemy back towards the city. Maybe. He's not moving forward here to Denmark's right. I thought he would be doing that. Ryburn here is pursuing Peninsula all the way inside the city here. We've got the elite cap here. The Kasseri. Don't know where they're going though. I wonder who they're shooting at. The guy's in the house, I mean. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we've got troops here on the roof. Oh, now there's an entrance there. Could be an entrance here as well. 
Yeah, there are ways of getting inside while avoiding the other English troops here. Ryburn's charging their cab through this direction here. And they surprised him. It was a... I was going to say it was a, it's a, it was a big gamble here. I'm surprised that this assault has gone so well for the cavalry. The English forces here could form a square. Now they still won't be able to beat Robin back, but Robin's gotten a crap ton of kills, so you can see all the dead English troops that have fallen. But it looks like they're going to win. They're going to win. They're going to wipe these guys out. Now this should enable the rest of the Robin army to move in and take the house by force. They need to send up the best troops and grenadiers if they have any. And we've got the uh, the Highlanders up here. They're pretty tough in melee. Nice. Where are they going? I thought he had him. Robert just needs to just throw his army in there. Break him. Force him out. Sending his troops one at a time won't cut it. He's got to overwhelm them. The other Robin, like Robin is so confident of victory, he's already sent a large portion of his army here, maybe about 30 or 40% of it, this direction. Okay, looks like um, Denmark pulled back entirely and France, Espana took his place. Cap is going for an assault. That, and they're going for the gap. Well, they form square just in time. Thirty-four minutes left on the clock here. Our men are running, sir. Okay, scrapping unit. Okay, Russia assaulted his position. They're trying to cause a mass chain right here along the line. This is Russia's big push. Reinforcements are coming in from Denmark. They're running. They're desperate to get there. Russian Dragoons also here. France did not form a square. We've got more troops moving in. Denmark reinforcements here, really helping to hold the line. Our men are running, sir. The troops here broke, but they seem to have bought enough time for the French reinforcements to get here. Potentially save the left flank from total destruction. troops charged forth but France was ready for them. They've annihilated them. They're pummeling the Russian cavalry and the English forces. They're still continuing the bayonet charge despite the fact that France is already in a decent firing position at the ready. They've wiped out a crap ton of red team forces here. English and Russians alike. They've repelled the big push. 
probably can begin their advance now. The enemy has been severely weakened by that. Denmark's getting ready to face off against English forces here. These guys here, they're running. They're trying to take out the artillery. This probably won't work out too well for them. Well, actually, maybe they would have got there in time. And Denmark could take the artillery position. Can he fire on them? Here they come. They're using their own troops against them. This artillery piece needs to fire. Too late. Tried to overlap England, the England's pulling back. Trying to gain better ground. Ryburn still hasn't taken the house there to the south yet. Or the mansion, I should say. Roman Empire's in a weird column formation. This is making it more difficult for them to fire on their enemy. Okay, this is interesting. The falling square. Okay. They're exhausted. This attack wasn't going to go anywhere. Those boys need to be rested up for later. How's it going over here? They're trying to go through them anyway. Well, gotta be cautious now. They've got two English infantry units over here. Okay, getting themselves out of square formation, but at the ready. So Denmark and the French here are trying to get themselves organized a little bit better. France is going to take control of the right flank. Denmark's going to be responsible for the center to the left. Ryburn's approaching. These units here have been marching for a long, long time. Why is Ryburn toying with him? It's strange, he hasn't taken the house yet. Did he lose the artillery pieces? We've got a Roman Empire artillery crew here. Three pounder, just sitting here, not doing anything. Maybe you forgot about it. Now this artillery might have been handy to be used over here to fire on that mansion if he was too afraid about assaulting it. He could have tried to blow it to smithereens instead. I mean, by the time this artillery gets over here, this battle could be over. Who knows? France appears to be holding the bridge to the north there pretty strongly. We've got some Russian forces here, reinforcing the English right flank. And French forces here, they've managed to actually get through now, unopposed. There is some howitzer fire there, but it's not coming in their direction at the moment. I'm going to try to charge in, but they're going to be wiped out. The 
The general here could be killed. They're uh, eager, they're active. They should be taking out the general. I know there's infantry in it there, but the I think it's worth it. Take out the general there, the rest of here will crumble. Where's that cab unit going? Okay, looks like France is pulling off their winded tide trips and reinforcing them with fresher ones. Almost formed up. There's only one one unit left in the game here. Okay, now they all broke. A cab that needs to pursue and destroy. It's not like they're busy. Come on guys, get in there. France is almost there. Ryburn's almost here now too. Our men are running, sir! The bayonet charge of howitzers, they're done. These forces here just need to wait. The other French detachment is almost there. They're about to fire into the English rear. Looks like Ian thinks he's sent a better chance taking out these guys head on than turning around facing his enemy. Shot. That reinforcement, sir, standing by. Okay, England's basically been defeated there. England's just going all in now. There you go. France is impressed to the building. They're done. They actually had a third unit there to back him up. Empire here has an artillery crew. Hmm. Can't see that. Francis needs to get in there, help Ryman out, take the building. This little battle here in the bag. Camp here. Oh, it's a general unit. I 
who the general is. We're wearing the same. We're just wearing the same top hats. Generally, it's not doing too bad actually. You've been fighting a bribing board and uh, not dying, which is pretty cool actually. I think Russia just gave up this, the house. I'm not sure why he would have done that, but okay. Okay, DT's general there. Is that the Russian general? Yeah, we've got cab everywhere here. Another red team general there fallen. This time it was Nash 22. He's abandoning his position inside the mansion. He's still inside the building there though. Is there anything else happening over here? Nope. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, that unit's toast. That's right, they've won here. We have killed their general, sir. Now Robert E. Lee's fight. general there just died. We've got two Ryman units here moving towards the building. Targeting the building with artillery. These guys, though, they're not firing. Oh, now they are. Probably just bayonet charging. Not even facing the right direction. Let's go one unit here back inside. That unit inside the building, they might break because of the artillery, who knows. Okay, Ryburn's entered the building for the second time. This time he should be able to conquer it. Okay, that's not they've won that one. Alright guys, this is the last unit here on the field. It actually killed a fair amount of cav actually. They're broken. Oh jeez, come on guys. Jeez, he's so close. Oh, the cab must have just got to him in time. Their own artillery, I think, killed some of them. Oh, they almost broke him too. That's it, we're done. Jeez, that was a close shave. They could have dragged it on for another 10 minutes. Victory for Johnny LaBeouf and his teammates here. Johnny getting 2,252 kills, not bad. Tig, 571. King of Gondor, 1896. I'm Swifton. 1695, Nash 22, 1312, Robert E. Lee, 1023, Flux, 1061, DT Chaslock, 911. 
And Johnny's kills here range from 318, 259, 179, all very impressive kill counts there. Ranging all the way down to probably zero from the general. Yep. So just scroll back up, give you guys time to have a look there, see what... Oh, the Elite Cavalry didn't get too many kills, they're only 47. Thank you, Johnny, for sending me the replay. If you want to see your own replay feature video on this channel, guys, my email is scatsmanentertainment at gmail.com. You can post them to me directly on the Discord via private message. You can post on my Discord server, Scats Reconnaissance. Or you can just tag me in the replay post on the NTW3 Discord as well. This is Mika from Scats Entertainment signing off. Goodbye, my fellow Scout Troopers. Catch you in the next Total War Battle.